some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm doing a discussion on Agree to Disagree. Uh, one of the games by Adam's Apple Games, which uh, they're the team that did the Planet Unknown Polyomino game that's all the rage. They have another game that is a party style game. And this was one of the games I also kind of demoed at Gen Con in 2023. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and go ahead and talk about it. Um, my favorite style of party games are the ones that tend to incite discussion. Uh, like, uh, I, I mean, I have a review over Hivemind, Wavelength. Uh, Codenames doesn't really incite discussion, but uh, really the ones that you just kind of will hear someone state an opinion or something that kind of have everyone, you know, discussing it. And Agree to Disagree really does that in spades. So what it does is, one, you have these these two, uh, these, this device uh, that whenever you are agreeing or disagreeing with a, a statement that someone has said, you uh, will put whether you agree or disagree with that statement, and then you're trying to find someone that you actually disagree with. And that is extremely fascinating because normally you're wanting to find people that you agree with. And how the game works is you have two decks of cards, and you just kind of put them out in front of you, and you flip them out, and then they have just these kind of generalized... Uh, categories on here and a person will pick the category from one of the two cards doesn't really matter which one uh, the, the different colors are just for victory points so on these two i have rider park candy bar pop music architecture and your mom uh so you the person picks a a a, a word on here let's say they pick rider so if i'm the person that is being uh like the one that I flipped the cards, and he says, Ryder, I could say, uh, I think George R. R. Martin is actually a bad writer. Now, the statement you make doesn't have to actually be your own personal opinion, although it most likely will be. That's easier to draw from. Uh, then everyone will pick whether they X heart, they disagree with that, or they heart and they agree, and they put it face down. Then is starting with the person to the left of the person who picked the thing. They choose anyone at the table to uh, to touch tips with, to take uh, their device and slide it forward and see if it locks in. If it's flush, then that means they disagree. You don't know what their statements are, but you know at those two people disagree, meaning with my statement of George R. R. Martin is a bad writer, one person agrees with that and thinks that the other one doesn't. And then, so... They will get, the person who picked the other one will get two points, and the judge will get one point. Because it's a flesh. You actually want to disagree in this game. And then, it goes around the table. If they ever have the same answer, meaning their side pointing into the table is a heart to a heart, or an X heart to an X heart, that means they agree, and they actually won't get any points. And then, when it comes to the last two people at the table, both of them will take a token, and they will decide, uh, they will vote on what they think their matches are going to be. Because they're kind of the only ones out, so, because you can't pick someone who's already, you know, chosen someone else before. So, since they're the only two, they have to decide uh, whether or not, okay, I think we're going to disagree, which means that your thing is going to become flush. Or I think we're actually going to agree, which means your thing is not going to be flush. And if your vote is correct, then you get two points. And if your vote is incorrect, you get no points. And that's the game. And I find this game extremely fascinating. It kind of, it's kind of weird because you don't, you don't normally want to disagree with people. But this one definitely incites, uh, like discussion because if you're if you because you know your answer if i put like okay i think george r, r. martin is a bad writer and i and I'm like well that's i that's what i believe uh, obviously no one knows that or they might know that if they know who you are as a person then they might pick you uh to mesh with um 
And you get a lot of like, oh, well, that's fascinating. Like, um, we had, I think there was one in one of the games that a guy just made a, a statement that he personally didn't believe, but general people might is, uh, I think it was over, I think it was pets or something. And he said pit bulls are inherently more violent. And it's like, okay, I know what I personally believe. And if we, if we met, if we don't mesh, like if our things come together, like, uh, like if they're flush, boy, oh boy, are we going to have some problems because whoo. So some people might not like that. Some people might think that that is going to lead to arguments, but, uh, I wouldn't, I mean, but that's the group, you know, like if you, I mean, I'm sure one of these is going to be like religion or something or something that could be construed in that way that might start, uh, inciting arguments. But I think that's part of the inter interesting part of this kind of game is that you, you want to find people you, uh, you disagree with, uh, because that is obviously most of the time going to be the conversation piece. If you agree with everyone all the time, then what's there to talk about? You and I share the same opinion. Uh, and the way the game works is everyone just takes a turn doing that, and then whoever has the most points uh, wins. Uh, I played this game multiple, multiple times in a row just because it is so quick. I also like the fact that they're not hyper-specific. Like, Rider, Park, and Candy Bar. I mean, you can do a lot with just those three. There's a uh, fantasy movie, furniture, and temperature. Tourist attraction, school supply, crime. Uh, sitcom, gift, uncommon word. There was one I got that was adjective. Like, and you can take those words and any route you want to take. Like, uh, they even give you a little um, topic guide. Where it's like, it could be obvious, you could be yourself, you could be declarative, you could be opinionated, you could be humble. Um, like, whenever I got adjective, it was like, do I just say an adjective? Like, pretty. Alright, yep, that's an adjective. Uh, so it's it's up to the players to kind of be creative about that. I think I did, um, is fucking an adjective. Like, just that, it like... Can slurs be adjectives? Well, it depends on context, so, but some might use them as kind of a, a filler where it actually doesn't fit into any real category. So, I like that. I like that the, the blanket topics are just up to whoever is going to be the judge. Uh, they're not super hard and fast. So, this is a really, a really unique one. I, I haven't seen uh, anything really like this, and... Uh, and this is kind of one that doesn't really rely on the person who's doing the adjective. Because a lot of these games are, hmm, how well do we know the person who is the judge right now? And then try and put in your answer or your guess based off that. But this doesn't really have that because you don't have to put your own opinion. Like, uh, do I think George R. R. Martin is a bad writer? In his writing, no. Uh, in his process, yes. But... Um, do I think pit bulls are inherently more aggressive? Absolutely not. Uh, so things like that. So if you're wanting a game, like a party game, that this one does play up to eight. Um, just, comp I guess they have a cooperative mode. I actually, I've never played it cooperatively. Uh, it plays up to eight comp uh, competitively just because of the devices. I guess you could buy a second game and just for the little pegs to have more people to mesh with. I think what they should do is just, you know, make a separate pack of those devices because you don't need two cards, like two full decks. But yeah, if you're winning a game that incites discussion and hopefully a healthy discussion, I highly recommend this one. So, agree to disagree is going to be, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 8. 8 for me. I really, I really like this. Uh, the party games I got at, uh, at Gen Con just... I don't buy a lot of them because I, I think that they all kind of, some of them kind of fall flat or aren't the vibe I'm looking for, but this one definitely has that. So that's my thoughts on Agree to Disagree. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day this for you.
Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.